right, so today we're still with area, but now we're going to work with area of So composite figures is shapes that are make up, made up of more than one figure. So it says a composite figure is formed by two or more figures. To find the area of composite figures, separate it into figures with areas you know how to find. Then add those areas. <clears throat> so here examples find the area of the following composite figure. So if we look here, there's several ways that we can split this figure up into two different figures. So there is, um, if we look here, if I split it right here, I have this square at the top that I have created. And so we're going to find the area of this square. And then separately, we are going to find the area of this rectangle right here. Okay. So to find the area of the square, I'm going to write A and then the little square here equals and then the formula for the area of the square is base times height okay so if i look on here my base is eight and my height is eight of my square so i'm going to do eight times eight which gives us 64. okay then we're going to find the area of this rectangle on the bottom so to find the area of the rectangle i'm going to put a little rectangle here to show that's the area for the rectangle and the formula is the same it's base times height equals and then here, our base, we need to figure out what the base is, okay? So we're going to have to add all these up. Now, from here to here, we know it's 4. This next section right here, we know is 8 because of this piece up here. And then this last little section is 3. So 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 3 is going to give us 15. So that makes our base 15 and our height is 3. And we know 15 times 3 gives us 45. And then our units are millimeters squared. So I kind of forgot it on the square. So I need to put it on there. So to find the total area of our composite figure, so the total area, I'm just going to put a big A equals. I am going to add these two up. So 64 plus 45 gives us 109 meters squared. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the next one. So on this one, here we have um, two shapes. Now, remember, it doesn't matter how you split it. You can split it any way that you want. I'm going to go ahead and split it this way, okay? I am going to create on the top, we have this trapezoid, okay? And so we've gone over the area of the trapezoid before, but if you don't remember, we'll go ahead and do it today. The area for the trapezoid, here's our formula. You need to take one half, and then you add the bases together, so B1 plus B2, and then you multiply it times the height. Okay, so in case you don't remember, that's our formula for the trapezoid. And so your bases here are 14, so from here to here is 14, so that's the first one. So it's going to be one half, 14, plus... And the other base is this bottom piece right here, which we know is 10 millimeters because it's exactly the same as this one on the bottom. So plus 10. And then we have to multiply it by the height. So this is our height right here. Now we know the whole thing is nine and this little section down here is three. So if this little piece is three, that makes this section six because six plus three gives you nine. So the height of our trapezoid is six. So now we have the formula for that. We'll go ahead and plug this into our calculator. So we take half of 14 plus 10, and then we multiply that times 6. And that gives us 72. Equals 72. And then our units are millimeters squared. All right. Now for the bottom section. So this bottom section right here is a rectangle. So to find the area of the rectangle, I'm going to draw a little rectangle here. It's just base times height. So our base is this 10, the 10 millimeters, and then the height is a 3. So 10 times 3 gives us 30, and our units are millimeters squared. All right, so now to find the total area, we need to add them both up. So we add the 72 plus the 30, and that gives us 102 millimeters squared. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. <clears throat> 
So on here it says, Linda has divided her garden into three parts as shown. What is the area of her garden? So if we look here, we have it separated into three different shapes. So here we have our first shape. Um, this is going to be our rectangle. So we are going to find the area of this rectangle. So here, the area of the rectangle is equal to base times height. In this case, our base from here to here, they tell us is 15. And the height is how tall this is. So this is 30. So then we go ahead and do 15 times 30, and that gives us a total of 450. <clears throat> and then our units here are feet. All right, next is going to be this rectangle on the inside of both of these is what we're going to find next. And so for this one, um, we're going to do the area of this next rectangle is equal to base times height. In this case, the base from here to here, they tell us is 15 times. And then the height from here to here. So let's see if we can find this height. Now they do give us this piece of information that from here to here is eight feet. And we know that this whole thing from here all the way to here is 30. Okay, so if we do 30 minus eight, that gives us 22. Okay, so that means that this piece is 22. So 15 times 22 is what we're going to plug into our calculators. So 15 times 22 gives us 330. And our units here are feet squared. Okay. Now all we have left is this re this rectangle, this triangle, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm already forgetting my shapes. So this is a triangle. So to find the area of this triangle, it is going to equal, and our formula for a triangle is a little bit different. It's base times height divided by two. Okay. Now the base is gonna be this section. We don't know what our base is. <clears throat> Now they do tell us that this whole piece is 45. Um, we know these two bottom sections are 15 and 15, gives us 30. So then this last piece that we need to find is um, 45 minus the 30. So 45 minus the 30, which gives us, that makes that piece 15. So we know our base is 15 times the height. This is my height right here. My height is 30. We go ahead and divide that by two. So we plug this in our calculators. Um, 15 times 30 and then divided by two gives us 225 feet squared. So now to find the total composite area, we're going to have to take these three and add them all up. Okay, so 450 plus 330 plus 225, and that gives us 1,005 feet squared. That's our total surface area for this composite figure. All right, next one. <clears throat> this one says you can also find areas of composite figures using subtraction. So instead of adding them together, we would subtract them. And the way that you do that is you take the whole entire figure. So for example, on this one, we're gonna find the whole entire rectangle here. We're gonna find the area of that. So area equals, so on here, base times height, we're gonna do nine times 12, and nine times 12 gives us 108. Our units are inches squared. We don't want the whole thing. We just want the area of the shaded part. So we don't want this little section that is right here. Okay. So we're going to have to subtract this little square. So this little square is going to be area equals base times height. The base of my little square, I'm not sure what that is. We're going to have to find it. So they tell us from here to here is four. From here to here is four. And we know that the whole thing is 12 because it tells us down here that it's 12. So 4 plus 4 gives us 8. So that means that this one also has to be 4 to add up to 12. Okay, so 
our base is 4, and the height of this little square is 12. So 4 times 12 gives us 36. We go ahead and subtract them. And this gives us 72 inches squared. All right. <clears throat> Let me go ahead. A equals, and then I'm going to box my answer. All right. And then the next one. So this one is a composite figure. First, we're going to start off with this entire rectangle. And so this entire rectangle area of this rectangle is going to be base times height. In this case, our base is 9 and our height is 5. So we're going to do 9 times 5, which gives us 45. 40. And then centimeters is our unit, and then squared. So I kind of covered this up just a little bit. And um, I just want you guys to see that that's five. So to find the area of this semicircle, we are going to have to use area equals, and then the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared. Sorry, this is supposed to be half a circle. Pi r squared. And since it's not the whole circle, it's just half a circle, we're going to divide that by 2. So now what we need for this formula is to find the radius, whatever the radius is. And we're going to square it and divide it by 2. So we need to find from here to here. Now on this opposite side, we know the whole diameter is 5. So that means that the radius is 2.5. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my calculator and I'm going to multiply pi times 2.5 squared and divide that by 2 because it's only half the circle. And that's going to give us 9, 9, oh geez, 9 point, eight centimeters squared. Okay, so then the area of this shape, to, to find it, we're going to have to take these two numbers and we're going to have to subtract them. So unlike the other ones where we added them up, this is how we find composite area using subtraction. So 45 minus the 9.8 is going to give us 35.2. Thank you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, remember you guys can leave it in the comments. You guys can ask me through Google Classroom. Um, that's it. Thanks. Bye.